Dan Reed Network formed in late 1984 in Portland, Oregon, and we were labeled a funk rock band quite early on, primarily because we were all fans of rock music, but we also wanted to keep the dance floor packed, so a band that didn't want to do all covers, they wanted to play all original music, it was just kind of in our DNA to mix grooves with heavy rock riffs. That led to us making a EP called Breathless that was released in uh, the Northwest and sold a lot of copies in Washington and Oregon. Say hello to the rainbow child. She don't and that uh, got the attention of Derek Shulman, uh, who was doing A&R over Polygram. He had recently signed Bon Jovi and came to check us out in Seattle. And he signed us to our first major recording contract. Let's rock it up. And that led to some great opportunities like working with uh, Bill Graham out of San Francisco and Cliff and Peter from Q Prime out of New York. Opening up for UB40 and Bon Jovi all throughout the European tour in 1989 and then the following summer in 1990 we got to uh, open up for the Rolling Stones throughout their European tour. And I think it was at that time we felt like at least I felt like we had reached the height of where we could take what we were doing musically at that time. And now all these years later, we're, we've gravitated back together and releasing a new album called Fight Another Day. The lyric comes from a song called Champion which is really about surrounding yourself with positive people and giving you the strength to fight another day. So fight another day. Fight another way. Another track on the album is called The Brave. It kind of deals with our addiction to our dark side. I've often found it strange that we put on a pedestal folks like Jesse James, who was clearly a, a killer and a thief, and yet he was a rebel, and we have that rebellious side to us. So The Brave really deals with, are we gonna be courageous enough to change the meaning of what being a rebel is? Most of that was great, except for the very are we going to rebel against the many things that are dragging us down personally or the world at large? And so, once again, this song is really about learning to lean on each other rather than building walls. So the album overall is about cultivating relationships and, and keeping the ones that are valuable. And I can't think of a greater group of guys to make this album with, which is Dan Pred on the drums, who I grew up with in South Dakota, playing Rush albums and Dixie Drag albums in his basement. Brian James on guitar, who's kind of the mad scientist of the band, who's introduced us to you know Miles Davis music and Mozart. And then you have Melvin Brannon Jr. on the bass, who really brought the funk to this group more than anything. It's more than the idea, it's his, it's his hands on his mind. And then Rob Dacre, who's uh, playing keyboards and is also the co-producer on the album. An amazing artist in his own right, singer-songwriter, and can play every instrument known to man or woman. 
and going full circle and working with Derek Showman again on this new album has been a pleasure and a joy and we can't wait for your, all of you folks out there to hear this new music I'm gonna ride.